considered Guam's premier female DJ, Lanz is back in the music scene after much encouragement from friends. She explains how she got the itch to be a DJ. I got involved with DJing well, back in the Philippines like five years ago. All my friends were DJs and I would always tag along with them and I love the music. I, I really love the music and so you know I wanted to learn how to DJ so I enrolled myself in a DJ school and I was there for like four, five months. At the school, she took courses that included hands-on instruction and was taught the fundamentals of mixing, blending, and scratching. I had to practice in clubs and all that. Of course, you have to learn how to beat match, beat match two songs, you have to learn how to mix, and they put you in a club so that you would learn how to crowd read, like what people would want to hear. Because, you know, every, everybody's different and you have to have like a, you know, that psychology factor that you read what they want. She soon realized that she could infuse her own passion into the music and deliver emotional experiences to crowds. Lands emerged as a DJ whose specialty is house and electronic dance music. EDM. Just to give you like a background, you know, uh, it started off as disco back in the 70s, 80s, and then it progressed to house music in the 90s, progressive house, and then they changed the name to EDM now. So EDM, it has a lot of subparts. You have the house music, you have the electro, you have the techno, you have the dubstep, and all of that is EDM. This young DJ who continues to have a growing fan base is grateful for the support she's received. I do have my inspirations. Um, I do have uh, my best friend. Her name is Alan. She's been a DJ for like, she started like 90s. And then um, here, um, my mentor is EJ Flores. Now don't let this pretty face fool you. She definitely means business. It's like female drivers, you know, oh, you know, they drive like that because she's a girl, oh, well, um, well, right now, I know that there are two DJs, two female DJs, one that's hip hop and then one, which is me, who does house music. And I know competition will always be there, but competition just makes you better. Sponsored by Big Beat Guam, she prepares for her gigs the best way she knows how, and it definitely works. Prior to a gig, I try to not drink. <laughs> really, I drink a lot of water, and I try not to eat a heavy meal because I don't want to be sleepy. And um, before getting out of the house, I kind of like, you know, just jump around and scream, not in a bad way, but just to, you know, get that energy, get that energy going. I love that they have so much positive energy and I, you know, I love when I make them happy and they, they dance and they scream and, and, you know, all that good vibes that I get off them. It's really fun. Noted as one of the few on island who specialize in EDM, it was only fitting that Lance take part in the Road to Electric Island too. It was a very good opportunity. I mean, I can only count the EDM DJs here on island. And, you know, mostly, you know, there are a lot more hip hop DJs. And for them to really promote EDM music, that's a big thing. And it's really new on island. You know, I'm so glad that they're able to introduce electronic dance music here. She invites everyone to come out and see what Yaya is all about. It's a once in a lifetime chance that you get to see all these great DJs, that's excluding me. <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna be an awesome event. The last EIF was, you know, crazy it was really really good and as I told you like it's just really new here on Guam and I want to invite everybody to come and join us.
This girl is on fire, one of the most humble artists out there. She's great in her approach to deliver unforgettable dance experiences where all are touched and moved to feel the music. Now, if you can't wait for the road to Electric Island 2, you can get your lands fixed at the Globe on Wednesdays, Zen, Drop, and Mars.